All right, the last section of chapter 10. Uh, this is about trig. It's an area of mathematics studying the sides and lengths of triangles uh, based on their angles and that sort of thing. Uh, now, you'll notice that these are right triangles. Okay? So uh, we need that to be the case. Okay? We have three of them, sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is represented by SIN, and then that's going to be an angle length, so the side of an angle. Okay? It's equal to the length of the opposite angle over the length of the hypotenuse. So we're looking at letter A right here. So the opposite is the blue line, because it's the one furthest away, and the hypotenuse is the red line. Okay? The cosine is the adjacent sine side to angle A, which is the one that it is connected to. And then obviously the hypotenuse is the longest side. And the tangent or the tan of A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite, which is the blue line, over the adjacent, which is the one that it's connected to. Okay? Now you notice whenever we talk about adjacent, we're not dealing with the hypotenuse. Okay? So we have sine, cosine, and tangent. So we're going to be able to do several things with this. The first thing is we're going to look here at angle A, and they want us to write down what is the sine of angle A. Well, the sine of angle A is just the definition of what it means to be the sine. It's the opposite, which is 15, over the hypotenuse, which is 17. So our answer is 15 over 17. Okay, we don't have to take it any further. It's just pretty straightforward. The, ang the sine of, of angle A is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of angle A is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So 8 over 17 should be the answer for that one. Okay? And then the tangent of angle A should be the opposite over the adjacent the opposite over the adjacent, so we get 15 over 8. It's not asking you to do anything more than that, it's just looking for you to come up with those facts based on the definitions. Okay. Try this one. Now you're dealing with angle E, the sine of E, the cosine of E, and the tangent of E. Okay. Now, in these types of questions, they're actually asking you to solve it. Okay. So the cosine of a 55 degree angle cosine of 55 degrees. So we just use our little evil demon boxes, type in cosine 55, and we should find out, it says to the nearest 10 thousandths, so that's four decimal places, 0 0.5736 is what I get. Okay. Uh, so you've got a SIN button, a COS button, and a TAN button, so push them in and See what you get, four decimal places, 10,000. Okay, uh, now finding missing sides. So they tell us that this is a 48 degree angle uh, and we wanna find the longest side. So what trig function are we gonna use to find this side given this angle? Well, this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse, so that sounds like sine. So the sine of 48 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay. So that's what we start with. The sine of a 48 degree angle, we type that in, sine of 48, uh, and then we wanna solve for x, so that means multiplying by 14. So we're gonna multiply that answer by 14, and then it says to the nearest tenth. So I get that x is equal to 10.4. Okay. I didn't round, I didn't cut anything off, I let my little evil demon box do the work for me. Okay. So don't round stuff until the very end. Okay. All right, try this one. This angle right here is this point. So what would we use? Set it up, and then solve it. Okay. 
Now it asks us to find the measure of each angle of the triangle. Well, we already know one of them. So once we find the other one, we can just kind of figure it out. All right, so we only have to do one. So we're given the hypotenuse, and then we're given this side, side AB, the length. So we can use one of two things. Uh, either, well, we can use a whole bunch. Um, let's say we want to find C. So I want to find out what the value of C is first. So looking at C, I know it's opposite, and I know it's hypotenuse. So the sine of C is equal to 12 over 24. So the sine of C is equal to 0 0.5. Okay. So this is where you're going to use a button on your little evil demon box. And generally, right above the sign button, you'll see this button. It's called the arc sign. So what you want to do is you want to type in the arc sign and then the, front, the decimal answer of what it is that you got. So the arc sign of 0 0.5 and this is going to be the uh, angle answer. So we get a 30 degree angle. So angle C is equal to 30 degrees. We already know angle B is equal to 90. So that means that angle A must be 180 minus these two. So we get 60. Okay. So that's the process that we go through. Whenever we have the decimal answer and we want to find the angle, we use the arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. Okay. So you can set this up different ways, but that's how it's going to work out. Okay, angle of elevation, angle of depression, fancy words for, check this out, use a trig to figure it out. Okay, angle of elevation is if I'm standing on the ground looking up at somebody. Angle of depression is if they're up in the, in the sky and they're looking down at me. Okay. So here's a situation. Uh, I'm standing over here and I'm looking up at my friend who's on the top of a ride and I know that the ride is 150 feet high and I know I'm looking up at them at a 20 degree angle. Okay. So we're looking for the adjacent to this angle. So if we know the opposite and we're looking for the adjacent, that should be the trig function of tangent. So the tangent of a 20 degree angle is equal to the opposite over the value we're looking for. Okay. So uh, what I can do is I can solve this for x real quick. So x times the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to 150. So x is equal to 150 divided by the tangent of 20 degrees. Okay. So I multiplied both sides by x. And then I divided both sides by the tangent of 20. So now, all I have to do is type that in. I do 150 divided by, parentheses, the tangent of 20, parentheses, parentheses. And what I end up with is 412.1216129. So we would say it's about, we're about 410 feet from the ride. So this value right here is about 410 feet. Okay. So that's how we use trig to figure things out. I, I know that you're, you probably use this sort of stuff in science, so maybe this will cross over. Try these. Chapter 10. Finished!